With this 360 degree camera, you always have a mm -hmm. really good view. Вот сейчас она сама включит передачу. Sometimes we are joking a little bit and tell the customers that there is a, a little drone coming up from the from the roof of the car. And <laughs> now you see Stecker. He breaks down by himself. Yeah. I did nothing, and everything is okay. Yeah. And you see, the car has to recognize the traffic situation, a mm. little bit dangerous. And in the moment when the car recognizes that you have no chance to keep your car in a clear way or something like this, then the brake system starts. And in fact, sometimes you will touch this car a little bit, but it makes a difference that you crash into this car with a speed of 50 k's per hour or 10 kilometers per hour because it minimizes the possibly the injuries and something mm. like this. Next thing we have the uh, pedestrian recognized system which is here and it is the same way that we did it before and it just breaks very hard, very aggressive. It's not me, it's, it's this car, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a bad driver, you think? And um, as you can see, it works perfect. And this puppet is high end. <laughs> so. And we take the next one, and I drive there with the. This system will turn on, or you can uh, turn it off? It, no, it's always working. Always. And the safety systems are always working in, in the normal E class. Are the other things like the Drive Pilot Plus, the BAS Plus, something like this, that you can buy with the option of the packet. Normally, the systems, the safety systems, are always the same in the cars in the future. And you can, can't uh, turn off them? No. Because this is a part of the philosophy of Mercedes-Benz, so they want to make sure that the traffic in the future will be safer.